Hello again, Pisces. So before we begin your reading, I have two cards for you. And I really like what you pulled here. I really love gratitude. I think it's a beautiful card. And from Lay Vampire, you pulled discipline, training, consistency, and practice. Now this card is saying that you have the ability to create change in your life. Now is the time for you to start laying down a plan to create some structure in your life and stick to it. Stick to your commitments. And then gratitude. I love this card. The, the key ideas here are friendship, deep love, nurturing, unconditional love towards self and others. And I'm actually going to read the inspiration here because this is something that I preach in my house all the time, which is the power of gratitude. So the inspiration says, gratitude rises our vibration to a higher level. If you are unhappy in any relationship, this card reminds you that it is always in your power to change it. There is no mystery to being a good person. Good people just do good things. I love it. I love what's coming through here. I feel like you have an opportunity to change your life through discipline and practice and consistency and sticking to the things that you are wanting to change and then using the power of gratitude, yes, yes, you can do anything and you can create anything. Here is the energy coming through. Very nice. Very, very nice. That is definitely the kind of thing that gratitude pulls in. So the Ten of Cups, seeing that as a signifier is absolutely beautiful. This is one of the most uplifting cards you can get in a reading. The Ten of Cups is absolute emotional fulfillment domestic bliss, harmony, being surrounded by family, loving family and friends. It's beautiful to see. And, you know, it being the end of the journey in the cups, it's such a beautiful ending. And it, it, the, it creates this feeling of hope for the future. Oh yeah. In the past coming through <laughs> the Ace of Cups, Beautiful Pisces. So the Ace of Cups is good opportunities coming through for love and romance and creativity and strengthening your own intuitive nature. It's beautiful. I love seeing that coming through. It's telling me that, you know, there's still these opportunities here to have emotional fulfillment. I mean, look at it. There's the ending and there's the beginning all over again. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> time for some wine the star oh that is beautiful to see right now the star in present conditions is like reaffirming that feeling of emotional fulfillment because this is about emotional balance it's also about hope guidance being hopeful for the future it's such a beautiful card and this is also about going with the flow of the universe I love it, Pisces. That is beautiful to see right now. It says that, you know, with what is coming through for you, there's going to be this feeling of emotional balance and guidance coming to you. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I should have waited on that wine. <laughs> Speaking of endings, the world. The world is the ending in the majors. This is the whole sequence speaks about reincarnation. When you look at judgment, the world, and then back into the full, it's the completion of the journey, but, you know, enjoying your success and getting ready to go again. It's beautiful. Oh, wow. Pisces. Yeah. And definitely you're definitely going again and there's going to be guidance coming to you as well. Beautiful. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, Pisces. Yeah, I, I should have waited on that wine because now I have another sip. Man, you guys are pulling some heavy hitters here. I mean, look at them. Death is your best path to follow. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. So death. This is deep transformation. It's deep transformation on a spiritual level. And this is about creating yourself anew. Rising from the ashes like the phoenix. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Of course, I love it because it's the card of Scorpio, but I love more what it means. 
there is going to be definitely an ending, but it's leading you to beautiful, beautiful beginnings. I mean, you know, look at it. It's so beautiful, Pisces. My God. Death, too, is one of those cards where, you know, I, I, I don't feel here like this is anything that you need to fear. You know, it, regardless, you're going to go through it. It, it. it has to happen. But what you come out of, when you come out of this, you're going to be so much better than what you thought you ever could be. It's beautiful. I love it. Oh my goodness. I, I don't want to flip over the other cards. Can we just like end it here? Because this is perfect. <laughs> oh, very nice. Very, very nice. In your environment, the Eight of Pentacles. This to me is saying that you're willing to put in the work that's needed here when it comes to the opportunities that are coming through to you. So, you know, with the aces, a lot of times when you see those in readings, it doesn't mean that these things are just going to pop up and here you go and all these good things come to you. We have to work at them. You know, we have to accept the opportunities when they're presented to us. The eight of pentacles being in your environment is saying that, yeah, you're willing to do what you need to do to go through this deep transformation and take advantage of the opportunity that's being presented to you. So again, you know, the Eight of Pentacles is about putting in hard work. In, this, in the image, the man is like refining his craftsmanship, but he's enjoying his work and he's seeing the results of what he's doing. I love it, Pisces. You have a beautiful reading here. Your hopes and your fears and look at it. That's fantastic. The Knight of Pentacles is the messenger about good news regarding like your finances and new work opportunities and creating more abundance in your life. It's fantastic. So not only are you going to have this security in your life, but you also have emotional fulfillment as well. It's like that star is coming through saying, yes, you know, you wish on that star and your wishes will come true. It's beautiful. I love it. Oh, and the outcome, it may have to do with a person. Look at it. <laughs> the Queen of Swords. Now, this could be somebody who, this could be an air sign. And this could be somebody who is very strong, very independent. The Queen of Swords is open, but at the same time, her sword is up ready to strike. This is somebody who understands life through bad experiences. So it's like, you know, she's still open. She's still available, but there's a part of her that's still very much on guard here. But I feel like, you know, I mean, look at it here. It's like there is this opportunity here to have, you know, this this new journey with this person here. And there's like, you know, yeah, <laughs> there is this new beginning and it's going to create this emotional fulfillment and like domestic bliss. Wow, Pisces, this one is different. I really like seeing this. So now if you're in a relationship with somebody right now, there is definitely going to be a strengthening of this bond with this person. Not only is there emotional fulfillment going on in your life right now, but there's going to be security as well. And again, it's like you're willing to do what you need to do to create that opportunity coming through and take advantage of it and gratitude. Yes, yes, yes. I preach about it all the time. You have to be grateful for the things that you have. Be grateful and enjoy the things that you have. Enjoy the people that are around you. Be grateful for them. The story behind this card is beautiful. This woman right here wrote a letter to her friend's unborn baby, letting that baby know how grateful she was to have that child's mother in her life, that that was her best friend. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful card. It's a beautiful message. And yes, gratitude brings more into your life. And discipline goes along perfect with the Eight of Pentacles and the Knight for that matter. If you commit to the things that you want to change in your life, you will definitely see it happen, happen for you. I'm blown away by this reading, Pisces. It's absolutely beautiful. And 
it's so fantastic to see. I mean, you're definitely going through some changes and there's some beautiful endings and beautiful beginnings going on. And you're putting in some work here. But what you have out of this is fantastic. And here's this person. You know, and again, I feel like you're having this journey with them. And there's this feeling of, you know, again, emotional fulfillment. Now, if you're single, this could be somebody new. And here's this opportunity here to have a really fantastic relationship with this person for sure. I mean, you're definitely going to be going through some spiritual changes here. And definitely when, you know, you start tapping into the power of gratitude. Yeah, the things that starts to create in your life is amazing. Honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. Very nice. So looking at these three, I think it's important here to... You know, be honest when it comes to, you know, the person that you're with or a person that you're interested in. Be honest in expressing how you feel about them and be truthful. And it can't hurt to give them a gift and say, I love you. I love this reading, Pisces. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I love the cards that you pulled here. I love this reading. I love this reading, Pisces. This is absolutely beautiful. This is one of the most uplifting readings I've seen this week. And I cannot say enough how important gratitude is. I preach it in my house all the time. Be thankful for the things that you have because it brings in more. And I feel like that is exactly what you've done. You've tapped into this power of gratitude and your wishes are being granted. To see the star right now is absolutely beautiful, especially with this on top of it. I feel like if some of you are in a relationship right now, there is going to be a strengthening of this relationship. Now, if you're single, this could be somebody coming through who is offering this new opportunity here for you to have a really emotionally fulfilling relationship. I love it, Pisces. It's beautiful. And on top of all of that, you're putting in the work that's needed to take advantage of the opportunities that are being presented to you. And you're creating security in your life. And when it comes to your work, you're getting fantastic messages coming through right now involving financial gain, new work. I love it. I love it. I love it. And again, to me, this is saying that you're willing to do the work that's needed to make sure that you take advantage of the opportunities that show up for you. And on top of all of that, <laughs> you are going through the death cycle. You are going to change yourself on a spiritual level and you're going to create yourself anew here. I love it, Pisces. This reading is absolutely fantastic. Make sure that you use discipline when it comes to sticking to the things that you want. Don't get lazy. Don't back off. Don't do that. Continue to use discipline to create those things in your life. And I feel like you do just that because what came up here is fantastic. I love it. And then on top of all that, <laughs> you have these beautiful cards from Whispers of Love. I love what you pulled here. Definitely, you know, with Valentine's Day, these two are perfect. The gifts that say I love you. There is nothing wrong with giving the person that you love or the person that you're interested in a gift that says, hey, I love you. It's perfect. And then with honesty is essential. When it comes to the people that you have in your life, be sure that you're honest about the way that you feel about them. Don't Piddle fart around and try to explain how you feel. Just be honest and truthful about it, especially if you are single and you are interested in a person. 